It's a privilege to be able to create images that become iconic and memories for people. To help them remember a specific time or moment in their life. You know, I had two passions growing up, and it was baseball and fishing. And uh, my, my passion for fishing that was shown to me by my family from when I was very, very young. The creative side of me was starting to come out in my teens. And um, it's just a path that started its course about 20, 25 years ago and uh, led me to this career, the key being I have a passion for fishing, and without that passion, none of this would ever work. It's that journey. It's the ups, it's the downs. It's, uh, it's those days of not seeing a fish at all in your baits. It's those days of uh, releasing 40 sailfish in Costa Rica that, that give me the inspiration uh, to create some of the work you see here. I can't tell you how much this location, this marina has meant to me in my career. It's truly a cornerstone. I have been the artist here for the Billfish Tournament for almost 30 years. I get to come to this marina and I hang out with some of the top charter boats on the East Coast, some of the greatest captains and crews and anglers. I truly believe that today I would not have achieved the status I have without Pirate's Cove almost 30 years ago becoming that cornerstone constantly refreshes and inspires me uh, to create. That one question I always get, you know, how do I get my inspiration? It's being out here, it's talking with the captains, the owners, the mates, the anglers, it's living the life. Uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of inspiration walking these docks. I watch my family grow up here, um, and like I said, uh, probably made the best friends I ever had in my career as a marine artist right here in this marina. You know, I've done uh, some originals for uh, iconic events, you know, 50th anniversaries of some of the biggest billfish tournaments around the world. I've done originals where we've honored boat builders. Um, done originals for championship fishing teams that have set world records. I've been trying to spend some time when I can have some free time to start to illustrate and catalog you know, classic sport fishing boats, I don't want our history to be lost. And you look at the Merritt and the Rybovich, the boat building history in North Carolina, and, and I think right now those have the most meaning to them uh, because I would like to leave a legacy behind and catalog these works for, for people to see. You know, every time I, I drive through these back roads of Juan Cheese on my way to the, um, the boat builder sheds and buildings, I, I can't help but think of, of the history and, and, and how it all started here with Warren O'Neill and uh, Omi Tillett, the Carolina Flare that was developed so they can run, you know, these rough waters of Oregon Inlet, and then how that design was honed and fine-tuned over the years by the guys that are building now, by the John Baylisses and the Paul Spencers and Ricky Scarborough. This little town on Roanoke Island on the Outer Banks of North Carolina have really shaped the hulls of the sport fishing world, and uh, it truly is the world. Uh, whenever I get commissioned to do one of these paintings, you know, whether it be a Bayless or a Scarborough or a Spencer, I always make the joke, it's just, you know, I'm an artist illustrating another artist's work. You know, what they're doing and what they're building is just, uh, it's mind boggling to me. Uh, I come out of these places, you know, fired up with, with ideas. Um, I'm excited to get back to the board and I feel that little bit of pressure that I've got to be able to create these illustrations of their work of arts 
that represent it so well and, and the beauty they put into it. Early in my career, I had had some difficulties with the apparel business uh, to the point that where my business started taking off uh, in other realms of the sport fishing industry, I just decided 15, 16, 17 years ago, I'm going to put apparel aside. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy enough as it is and um, I just couldn't find the right people that I needed to be able to trust. And then that phone call came from Pelagic. I mean, I'm, I'm a Pelagic fan, I'm a Pelagic buyer. Uh, I'm in this world, everywhere I go, it's, it's Pelagic. Um, the, the quality and the reputation of the company is just top notch. This is more about blending our experiences, blending my experience of being a marine wildlife artist and traveling around the world for 20, 25 years with their experience of, of being a leading apparel company in this industry. When I pulled that first shirt out of that box, I was speechless. It was the finest printing I have ever seen of apparel of mine anywhere at any time. By being on the docks, by spending a lot of time fishing, you just find yourself in situations where you're meeting people that can put you in the right place. They can give you the opportunity. And I often say, um, unless I was playing second base for the New York Yankees, there, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing um, to be able to be uh, a marine wildlife illustrator and, and, and support my family and make a living out of uh, creating original illustrations of sport fishing yachts and pelagic fish, it's, uh, it really is a privilege and a dream come true for me.